Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wonky, and I'm back for more Paper Mario! Today, we're actually starting Chapter 2. Let's see, previous episode. If you end up liking this series and you like me playing Paper Mario, remember to leave a like. It does help a little bit. So there we go. Let's start by switching to Old Goombario as we're in a new area, so it's time to know some deep backstory. The train's running again. Woo, about time. I can finally go back to Toad Town. This town works at the local travel agency. It's called Toad Town Tours. It lacks personally inspect sites for future tours. I wonder what people would probably want to see in the desert or at Mount Rugged. Rugged? Rugged. He's a station master at Mount Rugged Station. He likes to tow the one. He looks just like the one in Toad Town. Why is that? Is it because of his uniform or the pattern on his head? Pretty cool uniform, huh? It is actually, I think, the coolest a toad has looked so far. Never mind, this guy looks awesome. If you want to go to Dry Dry Desert, you'll have to go hike over Mount Rugged. Follow the arrows on the signboard so you don't get lost. There are a lot of scary creatures around here, so if you're not careful, you'll get hurt in a big way. If you think like things look desperate, you better run away as fast as you can. At least I would. A dryad. He hangs around the station all the time. He must like traveling by train, I guess. This is Mount Rugged Station of the Dry Dry Railroad Line. Not much grows around here or on the barren mountain. Makes sense. I saw a creature called a wacko at Mount Rugged. It was, it was extra cute. This toad loves to study the creatures of the world. She's really into conservation and doesn't want anything to become extinct. So we better not hit the wacko a whole bunch. Wink, wink. And cause its extinction. That'd be horrible. She'd be heartbroken. Which, if you don't know, that's actually something you can do in this game. Because <laughs> you can hit it, I think, one or two times, but... If you hit it too many times, it just dies. And it gives a pretty good item, from what I remember. But, I don't think I'll need it. So I'm not gonna whack the wacko. Ah, no, confound it, what could it be? Ah, that's my dude! Paracary. Oh, sorry folks, very sorry. I was looking for something and not watching where I was going. What now? Aren't you Mario? Why you are! You are THE Mario! Hello there! The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. Um... I'm normally a letter-perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of trouble with lost letter. Wouldn't you know it? I dropped it at Mount Rugged and now I can't find it. If you happen to stumble upon a letter anywhere around here, uh, please tell me, alright? My job could depend on it. I'll be searching this area thoroughly for a while. Alright, Perry Carey. Let's go find his letters. Wait. Go back. I forgot. Wait. Whoa. Okay, sorry about that. It sounded like someone was using the bathroom, so I had to stop for a bit. He's Paracary, a paratrooper who delivers letters. He's got some problems. He must be nice to have wings. He can fly anywhere. All postmen should have wings. You know, some people say that if you help someone in trouble, good things will happen to you. You know, karma. What? You never heard that? Is there anything? Okay, no, we're still at the beginning. Here, though, what a steep mountain. Sometimes I ain't got shit to say, Mario. Sometimes I just need to let it out. Wee! <laughs> Fun. This game's good. If I have not mentioned before, this game is amazing. Oh, money more. Uh, title. This is Monty Mo. Monty Mo's are rock throwing. The Mo's big time mischief makers. Their favorite game is Mischief Maker for the Nintendo 64. Ugh, it has some kind of scary looking faces. They're pretty weak though. Maybe they wear sunglasses because they have really sensitive eyes. Or maybe they're just hip. You ever think about that, Mario? You ever think about 
My mole just might be cooler than you. I don't like to think about it. Wouldn't it be cool if Mario got shades? <laughs> yeah, he blocked that because he knew I was speaking the truth. It would be pretty cool if Mario rocked some hardcore shades out of nowhere. <laughs> I guess the only game where he does that is Super Mario Sunshine. He rocks some pretty hardcore shades in that. Ah, money more. Get bonked. I need a better partner than you. There we go. Koops has got this. Koop hasn't seen uh, any screen time in four episodes. He's gonna <laughs> clean house. Let him know that I am the greatest. Bonk. Bonk. I should be way more giving of my FP stuff, but I'm holding off for now. Ooh, heavy honey syrup. No! Oh, I don't need the mistake. And to be fair, I don't need the sleepy thingy either. I clicked the wrong button. And it disappeared. Alright. Egg. I need to use the power block in the next one. Bonk! <gasps> Where's the buddy? I need to be very careful with what I'm about to do. Hello, friend. Wacko! I'm Wacko! I just, I'm just another picture-perfect day atop Mount Rugged. Woo! The sunshine and the fresh air are so refreshing, wackadoo. He's a wacka. When you hit wackas, they get bumps that fall off. I heard they're yummy. You know, I'm not normally into hitting wackas, but once I heard of their tasty bumps, I got the urge to whack them. Do it, Mario. I wanna eat the whack em. No. It looks like wags are, so I'm not gonna do it. No small decision. We don't need it. Dang. I really wanted to eat that mole. It's my life dreams, Mario. Watch out for sneaky mono moles that are common in this area. They're dirty fighters. They pop up from underground and chuck rocks at people. The cowards. I can't handle it. I hate mono moles. Boom. Hey, guess who's coming back out? Coops. Oh yeah, baby. This is my time to shine. This is the the most play Koops is gonna get for a very long time. It's not that Koops is bad, he's actually very good. I like what he does. I just feel like his ability is a little bit like... Oh yeah, hit something from far away. It's not as cool as what everyone else does. Bang! Nice. We did it, buddy. Six star. The six star classic. Ah, God, fucking mole. Hmm, I don't think I actually need to go pretty hardcore against this one. IMHO, only two. Not a good a deal as three, in my personal opinion. He's gonna whack me. Nope. Now I'm gonna whack a mole. Jesus, I like the little animation he does too, because he pops out the hole. Well, I guess there he is. I'll just say he didn't do it there, but he did it previously. 69, nice. God damn it! <laughs> Somewhere off is Gumbaria saying, I told you! They want to listen, you damn sneaky moles. Hurting you. Now who looks like a fool, Mario? You! Ow. Ow. Oh, okay. Bing. Gone. Does this please the star god in the sky? Nice. Ding, 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 ding. 
Alright. Can I go up here? And the answer is no. Okay. Ooh, there's one of Paracarry stuff. I <laughs> remember when I was talking crap on <laughs> Koopas' ability? He said it was missing three letters, so we need three more. But that's one letter. Whew! Maybe we had to take a break. I didn't realize the road would be so tough, rough. Of course, as nice as I would like to take five on a rock, you have to watch yourself. Enemies has got themselves those rocks. They're nasty and spiky, so keep your eye open. Like that rock over there. Don't trust that rock, Mario. I'm here. Destroy that rock. Boom! <laughs> Got him. And he instantly dies. Let's go. I forgot I need to do a title on him, though. At least once. Though it is way funnier just to hit him with a little bit of the... A little bit of bombette over here. Because they fall for it so easily. Oh, damn it, I fall for it that time. Bonk. That's not good. Alright, tattle. This is a cleft. Clefts are pretty strong, so you better be careful. Uh, max HP 2, attack power 2, defense power 2. Spell you see is pretending to be rocks, so watch your step on mountains. You get hurt if you jump on spikes on their heads. You know there's courage in running away sometimes. I got this. No, I don't got this. Ow. Kinda hurt, not going to lie. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I have to do nothing with her. Next turn, though. Ow, goddammit. Stop hurting me. Stop. With your nonsense. Refresh. Oh, magical star god in the sky. Give me 5 HP and 5 FP. You got it. Blow him up, girl. Oh, shit. Damn it. Didn't blow up quite the way I wanted. God damn it. But yeah, this is a pretty tough enemy for a kid. But I'm a man. And I know how to beat some. Oh yeah. Ooh, some FP. Give me the FP. Alright, pretty sure down there I have to go with Paracarry. Hey, Dick. Got him. I'll teach him. Hit him with a nice old bonk. Oh shit! <laughs> Alright, no one saw that. Bombet, be cool. Damn, he gives us a lot though. Because it's a tough enemy, they don't expect you. Because you get the upgraded hammer in this land, I think. So they don't really expect you to be able to beat him at this stage. So if you beat them, they're like, oh, damn. Let's give them a lot of good stuff. Which I think is cool. It's a very nice design, to be honest. I think that's the way JRPG should be structured. I don't like the idea of there being like a level 80 dude. I think there should be tough enemies that are still possible for you to beat. And, um, we But you have to actually think about it. And obviously, um, you get an upgrade later that makes it much easier, but... I don't know. I don't like the idea of an enemy you can't beat, unless it's a boss. If it's just, like, a random roaming 80-year-old... 80-year-old... Uh, random roaming dude, then no thank you. A good example is actually, I think, Final Fantasy 1 and certain Dragon Quests. If you veer off the path too hard, that will happen to you, so... Bonk! Mm. Nice. 
seven. We're almost there on level one. But yeah, that's how I think JRPG stuff should be. Is that there should be tough enemies, but they should be you should use tactic to beat them, and not the answer is you should come back here and power grind. Because I feel like that's usually what the answer is to a lot of um, Final Fantasy fights. In I guess Final Fantasy one, I should say. Blow them up. Later. Yeah, you didn't just have to know based on your party member, because really the only ones that can deal damage to him is Bombette, I think. At this stage, anyway, until you get the hammer. Oh yeah, level up. I guess if, depending on some uh, BP choices. Which is why I picked BP, because I need to get some good old BP stuff. Let's see. Some badges, FP plus, yeah, spent three to get five FP, sounds like a good idea. Let's see. Yes, and yes, I'm gonna spec into hammer. I remember how mirror charger works, and I might not be, to be fair. Oh, I just literally leveled up. Jesus. So I get the What was I talking about before I got distracted? I don't remember. Oh well. Get out of the way, mole. <laughs> the mole moves very funny when he's not in his little hole. So that's good enough to make me laugh. What is down here? Oh, nothing good. Run! Huh. Hey, dick. Easy EXP. Easy. Easy three star points. Ooh, I'm getting less coins now because they're like, oh no, you're locked up. Mr. Strongbow over here. Um, I probably need Paracarry for the other part. Shit! I should have really thought that through. Got him. I'm not even gonna try. Well, actually, I think now I can hurt him with shit. With the uh, ability to charge up my hammer if I so wish. Done with them. You know what I forgot to do with the other area? Do this with Mario. Well, we're pretty high up. Ooh, I feel a little fight. I never told you this before, but I have a fear of heights. There's the final letter. Mommy. Uh oh. Basically ducking and diving him. Boom up. There we go. <laughs> Very fun. Very fun. 
blow up. I keep forgetting that this is not a hold, it is a hit A button very quick. Coins, coins, coins. Thank you for all the coins. Alright, let's go talk to our good buddy Bear Gary. Leave me alone. I should have gone the cooler way around. May as well, just in case it randomly crashes on me. This is the fun way of going back. Whee! There's a lot of good attention to the little animations, too. Letter. Oh, that's the one. Oh, thanks for finding it. I'm so relieved. Um, actually... I was actually looking for two other letters I may have lost. It wasn't my fault, really. If you find them, could you... Thank you so much. Oh, there we go. That's one of the ones I dropped by accident. Thank you so much, really. Of course, there's still one more letter left. Can you please find it? I'm really scouring this area down here, but I haven't had much luck. You should try looking the other place, dude. Letter. <gasps> the last letter! You found it! Now I've got all the letters I've lost today. Oh, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. I wish there was some way I could repay you for your help. Actually, to be honest, I haven't just lost letters at Mount Rugged. I may have sort of dropped some of them all over the Mushroom Kingdom while I was flying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, you're you're good at finding letters. Do you think you can keep an eye out for them during your travels? In return, I would offer you whatever help I can. Take. Oh, praise the stars. I wasn't looking forward to finding <laughs> those letters all by myself. No, sir. I'll do my very best to help. You shall not regret this. Do, do, do. Paracary, he's my dude. Look at this. <laughs> Amazing art. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. He can carry Mario with flying and he, you know, skydiving and all the other ones. Now, onward! Oh, but hey. By the way, if you want to deliver letters, someone just speak to that person. I have to be next to you at the time for it to work, though. Keep in mind, alright? Sounds good, dude. Woo! Hell yeah. The only way to travel. Paracarry is my dude. That's why Paracarry is on the cover of Paper Mario. Because the devs know Paracarry is cool. Go up here. There we go. And we'll save for now and we'll do some more actual Paracarry stuff tomorrow. Not tomorrow, but whenever I record next. Thank you very much everyone who made it all the way to the end. As always, you can leave a like. Tell me how you're feeling about the Paper Mario journey so far. And I will continue onward. Until next time, you guys have a good day. Peace.